Hi everyone and welcome to this Passport tutorial where I'm going to walk you through how to use our new Key Manager extension. The Key Manager extension allows for the creation and export of BIP85 defined 12 or 24 word child seeds. A child seed is a fully valid Bitcoin seed in its own right and could be used in the exact same way any other Bitcoin seed can be. So why might you want to use the Key Manager to generate additional Bitcoin seeds with Passport? Here's a few common use cases. Number one, you could populate all of your mobile wallets using unique child seeds from Passport. If you lose any of those mobile wallet backups, Passport can re-derive any of those seeds so that your funds are not lost. Number two, populate the wallets of your friends and family while sleeping safe in the knowledge that in the likely event they fail to properly back up their wallet, you can re-derive their seed and bail them out at any time. And number three, securely generate and back up yours or your family members' NOSTA private keys. We'll be covering that in a separate video. Each child seed is completely unique and cannot be tied to the master seed or any other derived child seeds. And the beauty of the key manager function on Passport is that all keys are generated in a deterministic fashion from your Passport's master seed. This means that if any of the derived keys are lost, your Passport can re-derive them in seconds so that no funds are ever lost. Passport also includes the derived key details into any encrypted backups you make onto a micro SD card. This means you can have a single encrypted backup solution for the whole family's Bitcoin wallets. The Key Manager extension also allows for the export of NOSTA keys, but that feature will be covered in a separate tutorial. For the remainder of this video, I'll be covering only Bitcoin child seeds. Before we get started, this video assumes that you've already got your Passport initiated and updated to at least firmware version 2.1.0. If you haven't, check out our other videos on how you can do that. Now that you're ready, let's get started. I'm going to break this video down into three sections. The first is how to generate keys on Passport. The second will be how to import one of your generated keys into Sparrow Wallet via the QR code standard. And the third and final section will cover how to import a generated key into Envoy to be used as your mobile wallet seed. So the first step to generating some child keys on Passport is to enable the Key Manager extension. And to do that, we're gonna head left to the device settings, then down to extensions, down to Key Manager, and we're gonna to toggle that to on. When we head back out to the top level menu system, we should see an additional dot at the bottom of the screen. And there we have our Key Manager. So first off, what I'm going to do is generate a 24 word seed that I'm going to export via QR code and import that into Sparrow Wallet. So I'm going to tap on new key. Here we have our three different key derivation options. As mentioned, I'm going to head for a 24 word seed. Passport then gives us a brief warning that says there is space for 20 keys per wallet and keys cannot be deleted. Create keys wisely. And this is to prevent keys being accidentally deleted and then re-added for use with a different purpose or wallet. Next, Passport asks us to give the key a number. The default always starts at zero and each additional key of this type will be incremented up by one. Generally speaking, it's best to go with the default number that Passport suggests. Next, Passport asks to give it a name. Now this could be anything you like, but for this demonstration, I'm going to give the key name for the purpose that I'm going to use the key, which is going to be Sparrow Wallet. Passport then saves the key. And there it is. If we click on that, we can view the details of the key, which tells us it's a 24 word seed and it was derived at key index zero. I then have the option to rename the key. I can toggle it to hidden, which means that it would, it would be hidden from view. So if I head back to the main menu, the Sparrow key is now not listed there. However, if I click on manage, show hidden, I can then see the key again. And if I want to unhide the key, I can tap toggle hidden and unhide that. Next up, I'm gonna derive a 12 word seed that I'm going to use as the seed for my Envoy wallet. So once again, I'm gonna head down to new key. This time I'm gonna choose 12 word seed. Again, the key number defaults to zero because this is the first of this key type being 12 words. And I'm gonna give the key a name. Once 
Once again, Passport saves that. And there we have our two keys listed. Clicking on the details, I can see that Sparrow is a 24 word seed at key index zero. And Envoy is a 12 word seed also at key index zero. If I was to add any subsequent keys in the 12 or 24 word format, the next key index that would be used by default would be number one. Okay, so we've generated both of our keys on Passport. So the next step is to export them to the wallets mentioned. So first off, I'm gonna do our 24 word seed over to Sparrow. So I'm gonna click on that key, head down to export, and then Passport will show us the three different methods that we can export the seed. We have export via QR code, which is the option I'm gonna take, but we also have export via micro SD card, or we can just show the plain text seed words on the device such that we can type it into our chosen wallet software. For this part of the demonstration, I'm going to choose export via QR code. Then we have two subsequent options. We have compact seed QR and we have seed QR. Now these are two slightly different standards adopted by different wallet software. Lucky for us, Sparrow supports both of these. So I'm just gonna go with the default compact seed QR. Passport then says, Passport is about to display your 24 word seed as a QR code. Anyone who knows this information can control your funds. Now more specifically, the funds in question here would be any funds deposited to this child seed wallet, not your master passport wallet. Okay, so then over on Sparrow, I'm gonna to go to file, new wallet. Then I'm gonna give the wallet a name. Then I can click create wallet. From the next menu, I can click new or imported software wallet. And then under the mnemonic seed word section, I'm gonna click the drop down and choose scan QR. That's gonna open my laptop's camera. And all I need to do is hold passport up to the camera so that Sparrow can read the information and import the seed in a couple of seconds. And as you can see there, Sparrow is now displaying a 24 word seed. And what you can also do as an extra check over on Passport is head back to the export menu and then click show seed words. And you can check that Sparrow is displaying the same 24 word seed as Passport. Once you're happy with the information, you can click create key store and then import key store. And then finally you can click apply Sparrow will then ask if you'd like to add a password to the wallet. For the purposes of this demo, I'm not going to do that. And there we go. We've successfully exported our first child seed from Passport via a QR code into Sparrow Wallet so that the seed now lives in Sparrow Wallet. And if anything were to happen to my laptop or Sparrow Wallet and I didn't have an additional backup of the seed that we've just viewed, then Passport is able to re-derive that seed in a couple of seconds such that no funds are ever lost. Okay, next up, we're gonna export that 12 word seed to populate our Envoy wallet. So over on Passport, I'm gonna click on the Envoy key, choose Export, and this time I'm gonna choose Show Seed Words. There we have our 12 word seed on screen. So let's hop over to Envoy and look at how to import that seed to populate the wallet. So I'm going to choose Setup Envoy Wallet. Envoy then asks to choose our privacy setting. This is only relevant if this is a brand new install of Envoy, otherwise you would have already made this decision. Then I'm going to tap Manually Configure Seed Words. Envoy then asks if we'd like to generate a new seed or import a seed. Of course, we're going to import a seed. And the seed that we're importing is 12 words in length. So then all I need to do is type in those words that Passport is displaying one by one. Then I can tap done. Envoy then asks us if we would like to create or import a Envoy backup file containing wallet metadata, such as labels, account information, and connected devices. As this is a brand new wallet, I'm gonna tap create new Envoy backup. 
Then I can choose the destination to save this backup file. For now, I'm just gonna save that onto my phone. Then our wallet import is complete and we are ready to transact. And just as a reminder, Envoy was just an example here. You could use the exact same export method to populate wallet within Nunchuk, Keeper Wallet, Blue Wallet, or indeed any other hardware or software wallet on the market that supports BIP39 seed words. And if something were to happen to my phone, such as a loss or a theft, or even if I just accidentally deleted the Envoy application, Passport is going to be able to re-derive those exact same seed words such that no funds are ever lost.